Hi, I'm Ernie Zor, and on behalf of Pure to Spring Software, I welcome you to the 13th in our series of Frequently Asked Question videos. The subject of this video is how to do a quick and simple backup, and even though I'll be using the child support application in this demonstration, this video is relevant to all our applications because the technique is the same. And of course, backing up is always very important, and that's probably especially true in law offices. Now first I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to back up a single file. I've opened up a file named test and let's say I've been working in this file for a couple hours and I want to make sure nothing bad happens to it. Here's how easy it is to make a quick backup. I can click on the file menu and choose save as and I just give the file a name. I'm going to call it test copy. I think I already practiced on this one and already had the name in there, but I'm going to, you see there's three files in there, default, sample, and test. I'm going to call this one test copy, and I'm going to click on the save button, and bang, that's it. It's done. Now, the thing to remember, though, is that now I'm in the test copy file. So if I want to continue working in the original file, I need to get out of this copy and open the original test file again. Remember that. It's critical. How do you know what file you're in? You can just look on the title bar. You can see up here, it's kind of shaded, but I think you can see that the name of this file is test copy R10. And, and I know that that's the copy, you know. And so consequently, if I wanted to go back in the test file and continue working, I would reopen this test file and, um, and continue working from there on in. Now, here's another way to make a copy of a file. And this technique uses File Explorer, which, depending on your Windows version, has also been called Windows Explorer, uh, which is what it's called in Windows 7 here. And don't confuse this with Internet Explorer, which is used for browsing the Internet. This Explorer is used for browsing your computer. Now, I'm using a Windows 7 machine, and one of the easiest ways for, to get into Explorer is to click on the Start button, like so, and select the computer. Now, Windows 10 users will use essentially the same app, but there it's called This PC. There are a, probably a half dozen or, or more w other ways to open Explorer, so if you know how to do this in another way, feel free to do it. Anyway, from the computer window, I can double click on the C drive icon, then double click on the Puritus folder, which I'll find in alphabetical order. And inside the Puritus folder, we've got a whole bunch of Puritus programs, but I'm going to click on the child support, which is ROCSG10. And finally, I'm going to double click on the files folder, and you see uh, the four copies, including the test one that I just made. Now, let's say that I want to make a copy of the sample file. I can click on the sample file, hit Control C, then Control V, just like I would in a word processor, essentially. And you see that the uh, Windows automatically gave it a name. It called it Sample Copy. Now, that's a great way to back up a file or a group of files or even folders. If there's one drawback, it's that the backup copy is in the same folder as the original file. That means that if something bad happens, the container happens to the container folder, the backup would be trashed along with everything else, and we don't want that. So one solution is to paste it, it paste your copy into a different folder, and I'll I'll do that like this. Let's let's grab this test copy. I'm going to make a copy of it. I could hit Control C or do what I just did. I right clicked on it and I selected from the from the that. And now I'm going to go to my documents, and I'm going to hit Control V. And there it is placed, that test copy file. Um, so, so that's a good thing. It's a better solution um, than, than keeping it in the same folder. However, it does have, to a certain extent, it's got the same drawback. And that is, if the hard drive dies, my backup file is going to die with it. So a better solution is to copy the file to a remote location, like a different place on the network or to the cloud or to a USB memory stick. And it, and it just so happens that I have a memory stick plugged in. And I'm going to show you uh, how to go there. Again, we'll go to uh, the computer. 
and here we see the memory stick. It's a removable. It's referred to as removable disk G, and I will double click on that, and I think I can hit Control V because it's it was still in the Windows. Uh, what do you call it? The Windows clipboard, I guess, and uh, and there it is. I pasted it right in. Now I can remove the memory stick and store it in some safe place. Okay, in closing, there are better ways to make backups. Backups are usually made using special software. They can be encrypted for security purposes. They can be compressed so that they take up less room. But probably nothing is as quick and simple as what I've just shown you here. And that brings this video to a close. But before I go, if you're interested in law office, law office tips like, like the one I showed you in this video or the ones we put in our annual issue of Law Office Computing Magazine, I want to tell you that there's a book available. It's called The Best of Law Office Computing. And it's got all the best tips from years of back issues. So I'm sure that you'll find the book both entertaining and the tips and hints useful. You can get the ebook at Amazon for only $9 or the paperback for $12. In short, I thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. I hope I've made your life in the law office a tiny bit easier. And I hope you visit us again. And until you do, I wish you all the best. Take care.